gonna make it float. Hey! Hey! You're gonna regret this. How cool is that? Hey everyone, hope you well, hope you had an amazing week as usual. Now, after a four year hiatus, I think, four or five years, I'll have to check, I'm back at the Malvern Classics. This is the UK's biggest mountain bike event, mountain bike party, mountain bike festival. And yeah, COVID kind of messed things up. It got rained off one year. It was, yeah, in the UK, <laughs> it was too wet to have this event, but it's back on and it's back on bigger than ever. This year they have brought drop and roll and they're down here somewhere. So we're gonna go and set up the rig. And it's a full crew this year as well, which is awesome. I haven't done a video with any of the guys for so long. Oh, hey Ali, how are you? <laughs> it's Ben Trebbis. How are you getting on? I'm good, thanks. I yeah. didn't know you are an honorary drop and roll member now. Well, I don't know yet. We'll see how we go. Might be a first <laughs> show and then out. Get rid of this guy, you know, so. Well, as we'll long see. as you send the 12 foot drop, we're all good. Well, that was the thing. You see, my, my knees are almost as old as yours. So we'll <laughs> see how that goes. But yeah, I've seen if, you I, have to, You're if, doing if well. I have to send it, then I'll send it. But oh, you do have to send it. No, is that the rule? Is it OK? Is that initiation task? <laughs> yeah. yeah but, Got to send the 12 footer in. That's you. You might get in again. The only way you can get away with not doing the 12 footer is if you just set up the rig for us. Right, race let's go. Well. Right, let's go. <laughs> hello, hello. Who's this? How are we doing? <laughs> you guys remember Mr. Ricky Crompton, <laughs> don't you? Ricky's been stuck in Australia for like three years, pretty much since COVID started, and we've missed him. Yeah, so, it's pretty random. Was not expecting to be here at the Melbourne's Classic. All reuniting with everyone, but yeah, it's been a pretty random three years. Went on a little holiday for three months, and uh, <laughs> I've only just come back after three years. Well, and uh, yeah, well, if you're going to come pretty back, pretty random. <laughs> if you're going to come back, this is the right time to come back. It's awesome to have you here. It's going to be a good party, right? Absolutely. And here we have the usual suspects. My boss, Mr. Duncan oh, you're Shaw. My, your boss. I quite like the ring of that. <laughs> and get back to work. And Duncan's boss, Mr. Danny McCaskill. How's it going? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> and Danny's boss. Big <laughs> oh, here, here we go. It's going to be class. I know. It's going to be good fun, isn't it? These guys don't need any introductions, really. So, guess I'm going to have to do some work, put the camera down, and build some of this rig. So, let's do this. Go. Some time has passed and we have a mostly finished rig. It's actually so dark I'm struggling to see here a little bit. Can't help but try and at least try and get some clips of the whip-off comp that's happening. the next morning and it is actually a lovely day it rained overnight it's got us a bit concerned but it's looking good it hasn't bogged up too much here is our area which is probably the biggest area we've ever had for a show we're going to be out of breath sprinting about the place but it's looking good five minutes to show and as you can see we have a lovely crowd all waiting so it's time to swap to a gopro and give you some pov action of the first show of the weekend Henry, what's up? Get in the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the drop and roll show? Yeah! 
You are now in the danger zone. Drop that clutch. Oh, he's in. <laughs> right, Ali C, you're coming across here. Okay, here he goes. Okay, across the skinny. And now, uh, we'll just leave him up there. Oh, for no, the rest come of on. Time. Who's next? Right, come on, come on down. Oh, yes! Yes! Good show, guys. Good show. How was your first? How was your first? Good show, good show, Duncan's like, I'm eating my banana out. Alistair, just leave me alone. That was class. Shows your technique. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is, is you know he's putting that in, that's good quality talk content for Ali, he's taking that. How was your first drop and roll show? That was really fun, really enjoyed that, actually. I need to do better at the hop comp, though, but... I've got a couple of ideas I want to try and try and get up the big box at some point. Oh, That'd be cool. see a bar spin as well in the show. Hopefully so, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. How many attempts do you give us if I don't land it? Uh, just one. Just one? Well, okay. Well, that's going to be awkward. <laughs> that's going to be awkward. So I might land on my backside doing a bar spin, but we'll try it. The crowd will love it. You're going to do a bar spin in the show? I want to try one off the GoPro box, yeah. So yeah, first show done and I'm happy to report my neck and shoulders are actually <laughs> holding up pretty well. Now in that show I didn't do the big drop or the backflip, uh, we were actually running too long in that show so yeah, had to cut out a couple of things but the big drop will happen in the next show I'm sure. Backflip, I haven't done a backflip since October last year so I'm a bit nervous of that but I don't know, if the crowd's good enough in the next show I'll do that. Right that is the autograph session done, can't help but get these two on camera we've got. Martin Hawes, Martin Ashton here. <laughs> well, that was stealing Duncan's joke there. <laughs> Check out these bikes, man. The Cannondale, that is class. I've never actually seen one of these in person before, so. I don't think have either. Yeah, you can have a jump on it. Go ahead, so, mate. You're going to yeah, regret this. Do a 10 foot drop on it. Where's my helmet? <laughs> there we go. Look at this thing. Absolutely. I, I'm interested in this myself. Like, I never really seen one. But, like, the giant was always more common. Look at that thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> those those I mean, brakes I are could, still as fluido. They're as fluido as the day they were made. <laughs> oh, they are cool. P-bones. I mean, that is. You drool over that bike. You having a hop? Look at it. Yeah. I mean, you can so you can. I mean, it, it's pretty much apart from being like a lowish front end. It kind of does. You know, it's got everything in the right place with the good brakes. Yeah. D five two ones as well. Basically, it's sat around for fifteen years and we got it out. Oh, so that's it. Nice. D five two ones. <laughs> that's it. Ben's away with it now. You're not going to see it again. Sorry, mate. I'm a Yorkshire man. I'll take anything for free. It feels like a small, just like a small motorbike, really. Yeah. Which I guess that's what it is. Like, kind of nice, but like, you can imagine riding that. My inner 14 year old is just like the coolest bikes. It's the engagement bikes that get you. It is, you just like, you've got to kick and it's like. <laughs> I'll chase the. the yeah, let's go. Uh, Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh my word. Sorry, I'll get you away, Alex. Oh, I think we're, we're both fanboying about this bike, aren't we? How cool is that? The Cujos look like they're brand new. How you, I'm surprised there's not there still exist in that without being oh. perished. King hubs. Oh my roll hub tensioner. Carbon booster. Oh, I mean just the just the anodized frame. I remember my, I had the red one. I kind of wanted anodized like Chris, you know, like the silver anodized. But by the time I got round to getting a pace, it was red. But the pace forks. I've actually never seen a pair of these in real life. I never. I never got some of those back. Oh. Oh. I see a hop. Eh? I see a hop on it. What a cool bike. It actually feels... It feels exact... I mean, it, I mean like, which bars like this existed back in our day, because it makes it much... Just a pair of high-rise bars on an old bike just makes it feel so modern. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, oh, it feels just... The chain state, if the chain didn't skip, then you could, I could pretty much feel like I could ride this. Pretty much feels the same position as my uh, 
Look at that. Send a full show on it. Eh? Send a full show on it. Nah. I don't know. Uh, Pass the test, you know? The demo test. Oh, a really cool, but I managed to draw this bike in my mass jotters. Yeah. You know, like, just dream about it, and then I eventually got one, and I broke it. So, say, how long did it last? It lasted about five months. <laughs> Probably did about 2,000 360s off my local bottle bank of mine, so I can't complain that much. Look how thin the bars look. Like. I know. At least they're rental, they're, you know they're going to be good, but... Oh, it's so cool! After our taste of some retro bikes, I decided to take a wander and check out what bikes are on display, starting with the Atherton stand. They have sweet 3D printed titanium lugs, and from my day at Divi Bike Park on one, I can confirm they ride very nicely. Next up was this Kelly's e-bike. I've not seen one in the flesh before, but I love how unique the design is with a super low top tube. A few retro downhill bikes got my attention with the iconic giant ATX1 and a really cool looking Foes LTS. And also a Balfour BB7 which had a high pivot and idler before they were cool. But this Scott Octane was the wildest looking with its dual shocks to separate compression and dampening and a seat so large it needed a support strut. Something more modern from Privateer. No nonsense, lights looking trail and enduro bikes. This was my first time close up to some intent forks and are even more gorgeous in real life. The quality is absurd and I've heard they work extremely well. I'd love to try some. This Kingdom Titanium prototype was kitted out with intense suspension front and rear. I love this bike's shape and it's got some neat 3D printed frame parts, including this holy gusset which was done just to troll people. Pinned were here too, you might remember them from my factory tour earlier this year. My pedals are still going strong and now they offer a smaller kids version too. I think Pinned is an exciting brand to keep your eyes on, as they have some big ambitions. Rim pack inserts are another product I've been using for years and it's great to see them here showing off their range and some new heavier duty e-bike models. Saddleback recently became exclusive UK and Ireland importers for pivot bikes and had a few models on display. These are verging on superbike prices, but I have to admit they're some of the better looking bikes currently out there, and I've heard good things about how they ride too. One stand I was excited to see here was the Stanton bike stand. They're based in Matlock, not that far from where I grew up, and like Pinned, have some huge ambitions. This Switch 9er FS is gorgeous, with its titanium front triangle and carbon rear. And now they're doing a 27 and a half inch version. I can't help but think this would make such a pimp jibbing bike. The other aspect of Stanton that I'm impressed by is their finishing. They're using Cerakote and other processes to give some gorgeous and hard wearing details and paint jobs. They also do gravel parts and this fork grabbed my attention as it has no visible welds. I wonder if this could make a pimp trials fork. Away from UK made bikes, we have the event's main sponsor, GT, and this bike was a present to Hans Ray for his 35 years as a GT sponsored rider. That's the longest anyone's ever been sponsored by a single brand in mountain biking and won't be beaten anytime soon. And speaking of Hans, here is his first ever trials bike, which I was surprised to find as a front drum brake and three-speed rear hub. It turns out that this wheel size is 21 These two retro downhill bikes were sat next to Hans's bike and brings back a lot of memories as these were the super bikes I drooled over as a kid. The Lobo was a wild looking bike back then and is still a wild looking bike now. Moving on 25 years and GT are still killing it with some sweet looking bikes but I don't think they're quite as sweet as this. Certainly not as rare anyway. This is a one-off pace trials bike made in the late 80s. It got stolen, was lost for decades, 
but got rediscovered, rebuilt and won the retro bike comp for a good reason. I was pleased to bump into an old friend, Lucy at Indie Bike. She's made a huge name for herself as the person to go to for custom graphics. Not only can she provide the usual replacements, but she offers fun parody versions too. Along with rim graphics, and the ability to do full custom frame designs, like this Beavis and Butthead Cromag, which is a wide angle of their living room and full of fun little details. This Nolly was also full of great details with a Norse theme and Odin's Raven's wrap. The leather frame wrapping was a really cool touch too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're pretty quick pat down anyway. While I was walking around, Ben had been practicing the big kicker and getting over a fear of them after a horrible crash years ago. Great to see him finally smash his fears. Don't stop for nothing! <laughs> that line for you. Oh, you I, I just learned it, so it might be a sketchy. Oh, it's got so much over. Remind me not to do that, Cole. Half point point five eight and spin three. You taking a pedal on the off camper? That uh, downhill has wrapped up. It's going to be a week until this video is out, so I'm sure you guys all know the winner, but I won't spoil it. We're just about to do a show now. It is roasting here. Jeans was a bad choice, but we'll be all right. Plenty of warming up to do. Plenty of water to drink. Plenty of nonsense behind me. You right there? Uh, yeah, show time. So, gonna swap to the GoPro again, get some show highlights. Highlights! I see you coming in there, one meter. Nice, yes, Ali. Second show done, and what a show that was. That was actually brilliant. Um, I did the 10 foot drop, which I've not done, was well, not even 10 foot, it's 12 foot. I did the 12 foot drop for the first time in ages. Neck and shoulders are fine, rope spokes held up fine. Going onto the seven foot box, which is behind me there, is always scary because it's hollow underneath. Got up that fine. I even did a backflip, which I've not done in pretty much a year. So I'm stoked. Did all the things that I wanted to do, all the things that scare me. The weather's been amazing, good crowd, and Hans Ray was watching, which is really awesome. Now we've got to do some autographs, so I think we've got some people behind me all queued up. Get those done, and then Danny is going to be in uh, the TRP lake ride with Hans Ray. Who's going to win? Oh, I don't know. I heard Hans fell in last time, and I don't feel like I'm... I'm not feeling particularly confident, but... Well, I fancy a try as well, so... I've got my speedos on, so... <laughs> be ready for it. I will give that a try after this. It's so hot. It actually could be pretty refreshing to be falling in a lake right now. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be next up. Right, we have got the TRP lake ride, and it's such a hot day today. I might even not attempt to get across and just fall in. Have you ridden this event before? Yeah, it's slightly different. So this time it's head to head, whereas before it was just a, a loop that you did singly, and I did make it all the way across. Whereas this time, we'll see. We'll see. So the race will start over there, but I just want to make sure you're capable and can actually ride the course. Which you probably can't, hopefully. So come on, who's going to be the first rider across? Who are we going to put? Ali Clarkson's done this before. Put your hands together, please. Ali Clarkson, any lane you want. Right on that inspired bike. Just go for it. Ali Clarkson! TRP lane ride! GT Bicycles Morbus, that's in 2022. Oh, he's going for the speed maneuver. Ah. 
In the house. There he is. Oh, he's looking a little wobbly there. Let's see what his tactics are. We've seen him ride across tra uh, trains. We've seen him. Oh, that was quick. Oh, you're quick, Danny. Josh Lewis. Let's see what you got, son. Here he goes in the right hand lane. Riding for 50 to 1. Josh Lewis. Is he going to crit him? Put your hands together for Duncan Shaw! Here we go. Surely Duncan's gonna get across this one, no problem at all. That is easy work. Put your hands together, Duncan Shaw getting across for this one. Whoa, look who we've got in the house! Put your hands together, we got Hans Ray! The youngsters have made it. Let's go. Oh. 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 He's in! He's in! Hans Ray's going down. Them feet are well in there. The housewife's favourite. Come on, ladies, put your hands together. Snoop Dogg is here. Oh, the medics are on. Snoop Dogg on your right hand side, give me a cheer if you want Snoop Dogg to take this one. Yeah. All the BMX fans, James Jones, oh, we've already gone. I, know, I never said start, but it doesn't care. It's the Morvans, we don't really have many rules. James Jones is leading this one out. Snoop Dogg, come on. Come on, Snoop Dogg, let's have some. Pass one off the blocks. I see, come on. This chain, come off. Oh, we haven't quite worked out the bike situation. We thought they might have bought their own bikes, but obviously they didn't really want to do that. Duncan versus Josh Lewis. Go! Duncan Shaw in the white t-shirt, drop and roll tall. Expert Josh Lewis, trials rider versus professional Jim. Josh Lewis goes in. Duncan Shaw crosses the line. He takes that one. He's due through to the next round. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he has Josh Lewis. <laughs> great effort, great attempt by him. Yeah. For Danny McCaskill. Yeah. Hands together for hands. No way, Ray. <laughs> Go! Charles <laughs> Riders extraordinaire. It is going to be about Dan Andy McCaskill slightly in the lead at the moment. Hans Ray's on the wobble. Danny McCaskill straight off. No, it was to the wire. Danny McCaskill just said, Hans Ray, yes! Go! Go! Oh. Ah. No, is he? Oh, he's on the edge. The pressure is coming in. Forbes making a low push. He's off. Ali Clarkson taking this one. Ah, that's good fun. It's getting so slippery with all the mud that's getting put on it. But it doesn't help when you get blinded. Either. Adam Williams. Just like the highlight of the day so far. TRP late ride. The finals. In the white t-shirt on the right hand side. Put your hands together for Ali Clarkson. In the left hand lane, riding for Rebel in the black t-shirt. He's coming out swinging, Danny McCaskill! Danny McCaskill's coming like a... Oh, Clarkson's gone down! Danny Clarkson's gone down! Danny McCaskill's gonna take the win! Ali Clarkson going for the surfer. Make your way down now, folks. 
Oh, yeah. I was hoping to get through the day without falling in. I hope my bike still works tomorrow. Right, Ali, give me a quick rundown of how this event worked out for you today at Melbourne's Classic. Uh, that was class. So basically, should they allow trials riders to do something that's quite balance based? Who knows? But basically, it was. Where do, we, where do we want that information in the comments below? Uh, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, basically ended up being the drop roll guys going for third, second, first. Duncan, third place is quick. Danny pushed me over the limits. He was a wheel, uh, basically a wheel ahead of me. I was like, right, I've got to push this. And then I pedaled too hard, lost my balance, and that was me in the water. Was that his name? Uh, Danny McCaskill. <laughs> Come on up, sir. Gold medal to you. This will be one of his most treasured memories and awards. I'm not going to have you. Come on, Melbourne! Make some noise! Danny McCaskill, Ali Clarkson, Duncan Shaw, your top TRP Lake Ride exponents of wonderfulness out there. Please, please, How was that? please. That was actually great. Bikes up. <laughs> Very fun. And I honestly, as well, sure, if you are honest, riding any of that tracks. After the lake ride, showers were needed, which some of the guys did in Danny's motorhome. If you've not seen this beast yet, it's basically a flat that Danny likes to drive around so he and his friends can chill and party and have a comfy place to sleep. It's been fully stripped out and redone and it's pretty awesome. Welcome to the party bus. Hello! Right, I'm just going to get ready for a shower. Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this quality content, Ali, is it? Yes. Is this the QC? Okay, the next morning, and as you can probably tell by my really deep, sexy voice, that yeah, we went out. Now, I'm not much of a drinker, but I had a couple of vodkas. Didn't get drunk, just a little tipple, but the music was so loud that I had to shout so hard to even talk to anyone, and it's completely ruined my voice. I've only got an hour and a half until the first show. Uh, other than the voice, I feel good, but... <laughs> It's going to be an interesting one today. I'm the oldest in the bunch here, so I need to do my warming up. Ben Travis getting you dizzy here. He is almost as old as me, so he needs to warm up as well. So the old guys are warming up. The young guns, the guy with the name on the side of the truck, he doesn't need to warm up. But we're five minutes away from the show. The weather's amazing. It's almost too amazing. I'm feeling less bouncy than yesterday, but let's just warm up and see if I can fix that. So, you're going to line up from this corner. Oh, Actually, buddy, is there a young gentleman called... Rather you than me, sir. This is very technical, what it's going for. Oh, there it is! Here comes Ali C. Yeah! Here 
comes, he's dropped the clutch, he's up! And thankfully not into the crowd. Stop falling! Oh! Crikey, I thought he was going over the front. Oh, we get Fred Travis, let's get up there, here we go! Oh! the safety of the field. Yes, Ben! Three, two, one! Ah, yes! Two, one! Here he goes! Drop that clutch, Daddy! Oh, my word! Here we go! Yes! Two, one! Ah, he's down! Oh, yes! Just let him know you're there when you don't pick him up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an amazing weekend. How are you feeling, Alan? Sweaty. <laughs> that was great, really good. Yeah. Is that the best show of the weekend so far? I reckon so. That's, I think, every trick in the book done. Smoothest drop yet. Flips. Did this. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Really cool. I was having a bit of a wander about, having a natter with some brands, looking at bikes, getting all geeking out. I didn't realize these guys were packing up, and I've come back, and pretty much most of it has been done. Uh, so yeah, I think that is a pretty good point to say. That was Malvin's Classics. That was actually really, really awesome. If you were here, I hope you enjoyed it too. hope you enjoyed our shows. If you weren't here, I can highly recommend coming. Fingers crossed they'll put this event on again, and they'll have us here again. I'll be here, even if they don't have Drop and All here, because it's just really good fun. It's been awesome to hang out with the guys again. It's been so long since I've had them on a video. I really need to make more of an effort to travel up to Inverness and just do more riding with them. But I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you really enjoyed this. Hope you have an amazing week, and I'll catch you next time. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.